Here I am going to show you how to use our new persistent storage cloud file system feature. So we're going to go here to storage. We're going to create a persistent file system to start. Uh, we'll name it whatever we want. And now I'm going to start an instance with this file system attached. So I go to attach file system, your name here, and now our instance is launching. So while we're waiting for this, I'll tell you a bit why you would want to use a persistent file system. Uh, if you don't use a persistent file system, then whenever you terminate your instance, all of your files are going to go away. So if you are training and you, uh, you know, uploaded a big data set and you've got uh, a pre-trained model and maybe you're going to want to do some more training later, you know, say two days from now, you're going to have to keep that instance running or you're going to have to copy the data uh, over the internet to preserve it. It would be much nicer if you could just save it in a network file system that happens to be uh, located on the same very fast LAN uh, as the rest of the hosts in our data center. And that is what our persistent cloud file system is. So uh, I will start by launching the cloud IDE. Okay. And I'm also going to launch a second instance to, to use later. So imagine that uh, I, I launched this later. Yes, that's a lie, but we'll imagine that uh, that's what happened. So while this is booting, let's take a look at our instance from the view of Jupyter Labs. You can see that uh, the directory is here. It has the file name that I gave it. We can create files there. So let's create a Python file. We'll say Great, and we will save this and rename it so now we have our our hard work saved persistently and we're going to go back up to the top level of our JupyterLab notebook which is our home directory in the uh, instance and we're going to create another file Okay, so this one is going to be lost when we terminate our instance, and the reason is that it is saved outside of our persistent cloud file system. So I will save this, rename it, and now let's take a look at what this looks like from uh, a point of view of someone SSHing in. Okay, so we can see uh, will be deleted.py and 
We've got our hello.py. I'm going to make both of them executable. And okay, and I'll run them both. Okay, and something else that's important to remember is that any packages that you install are not going to persist because they're not going to be in this directory. So let's make a very silly hello.sh. And uh, this hello.sh is going to depend on GNU hello. And so I'm going to And when I run it, it's going to say command not found. Oh no. So let's apt install hello. Very small program. Now I can demonstrate this very complex program, hello world, and I can demonstrate that uh, my hello.sh now works. I'm going to move this uh, hello.sh into my persistent file system because I don't want it to be lost when I terminate. And now let's terminate our instance. So I'm going to exit from here, close our terminal. I'm going to terminate and we get this warning. Complete loss of all data on the instance. Of course, what it really means is all data that is not in our persistent cloud file system. And now we can imagine that I'm just starting this uh, second instance now, uh, rather than it having been running for most of this time. And let's, just, let's launch our cloud IDE first. And we can see that our persistent file system directory is here with our files in it, but the file that was outside of that directory is gone lost forever. Now I'm going to show you the view from SSH. So again, we ls, we see that the file that was outside the directory is gone. We see that the files here are here. We can run our hello Python script, but when we run our hello.sh, it's going to fail. The reason it's failing is because our dependency, GNU hello, is not installed. So each time you start a new instance, you will need to install dependencies unless you are using something like Docker or putting your Python virtual environment within the pers persistent file system uh, you will have to install both dependencies via pip or dependencies via the package manager or conda, whatever you're using for whatever types of dependencies, you're probably going to need to reinstall those uh, after starting a new instance. So let's do that. Okay, so now we've installed GNU hello and I can run my hello.sh with no issues. I'm now done. I can exit and terminate this instance and my data will last until I delete the cloud file system here. Uh, it's important to know that as of this video, there's no way to download your data other than by launching an instance and copying it over some way, either using Jupyter Labs or SCP or SSHFS or Amazon EC2. The only way to download your files or upload new ones is by starting an instance and interacting with that.
Thank you very much.